Hello, 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 and welcome to the next in the line of Gomer Plays Redo series. If this is your first time watching this particular series, a uh, little backstory for you. Uh, back in 2010, I did the original six NES Mega Man games pretty much all in one go. Uh, they got all right. They, you know, they, they didn't get like a million views or anything. They, they were all right for the time. And when I got up to Mega Man 7, I changed the style, changed the format a little bit. And I thought, you know what, I love the first six games so much, and I really want to bring them in line with the seventh one in terms of style and um, production. So I said, you know what, let's go back and do them. And it also gives me a chance to show off a few other things that I hadn't done before. Um, you know, like different Robot Master Order, that sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> so here we are. And we're at Mega Man 3. The other two can be seen right there on my YouTube channel, or if you poke around on my section in, uh, on uh, rdgomer.com. Uh, you can find both of those. Also, if you so desire to see them all in one place, you can either check one of the playlists on YouTube or check out nerdvice.com. They should have the entries with full playlists for both of the previous two games. Uh, I'm going to start off, even though I probably don't need them, I'm actually going to go ahead and give myself a maximum amount of E-Tanks because I can. And I've determined the order. So far, I'm going hard. Man. Hard man. Penis joke. Something like that. <laughs> uh, so yes, Hard Man. I don't normally start out with him. Normally I'll start out with either Magnet Man or Snake Man. Um, but uh, simply because they're usually easier for me. And this gives me a little bit more of a challenge. Hello, bees. As, as you can see, you know, get rid of the bees by just sliding on, sliding off. Hi, guys. How you doing? Okay. And yeah, look. <laughs> it would be funny if I could, like, roll Mithril this thing. That would be great. Um... There we go. And, of course, Mega Man 3 also introduces us to Rush! Woo! Oh, wow. Epic maneuvers. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! How about that for epic maneuvers? Holy shit. <laughs> ah! So, yes. Monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. Whee! Alright. Come on. Hey, get back down here! Get down here and fight like a... Ow! Well, there's my first damage for the game. Okay. That's fine, though. Ugh! Fight like a monkey, asshole. Ah, you missed me, and I can still get you. So, for full disclosure, I'm using an Xbox controller. I do have two turbo buttons set up. Uh, one, obviously, A and B buttons. And, wow, that messed up things pretty well. Okay, let's not do that. Wow! My, my, my Turbo B button broke the game. <laughs> wow! That was... It didn't do it again, though. That was... That was weird. E-Tank, even though I don't need it. <laughs> uh, that was weird. Now, this section, as a kid, this used to give me trouble. Nowadays, it's like, eh, whatever. Uh... Jump and slide, jump and slide. Speed of jumping and sliding. No, ladies and gentlemen, that it's not my phone going off. Uh, if you've listened to the previous Gomer Plays videos, you'll know that Proto Man's whistle is my uh, uh, email slash, te slash uh, text message ringtone. But no, that's actually part of the game, and that is Proto Man, who who we find out a little bit later. He has a little bit more of a connection to Mega Man than uh, one would suspect. Um, but, uh, yeah. We're already at the boss! Hard Man! Oh, dear. I remember an old strategy guy talking about him, like, Hard Man? Easy Man is more like it. And, whoop! And you want to get out of him? Well. <clears throat> wow. He doesn't just fall, he falls with sound. Whoop, whoop! Hi, how you doing? Okay, this is going to be a little tedious, but that's okay. If you do want to do it safely, do it with no damage. Or if you want, you can just go up there and just like blast the fuck out of him and hope you run out of hope he runs out of energy before you do. But I'm not that frustrated yet. <laughs> he always does this little dance, like right as he gets up. Look at that, Tom. Like ha. Like I'm gonna kill that guy. Yeah, that's why you want to be at the edge of the screen for uh, those hard knuckles coming at you, by the way. Whoop. 
Oh yeah, land right on it. Haha. -ha. Oh shit. Oh. There we go. He freezes the entire screen. Not just part of it, the entire screen. I don't know how you can freeze somebody while they're in the ow air. But he's done. <laughs> hard man is down. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Hard pun, hard pun, hard pun. Ah. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, I found out I learned today. Uh, well, let's get the weapon first, then I'll tell you what I've learned today. So we get the hard knuckle, or as the, or as Bob and George once called it, the flying fist job attack. <laughs> and I will find myself some uses from that for that. Uh, so what did we learn today, kids? We learned that hard man is not very hard. Um, we learned that bees disappear if you run away from them. And we also learned that in certain situations, my turbo controller could fuck up the game. Or at least it did when I was recording it. I don't know how it's going to turn out for you guys yet. It should make for a magical experience overall, I hope. Um, hope I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I hope you all are going to stick around for the rest of the series. And, well, hey, you know, <laughs> it's just one of eight so far. So uh, I think I know where I'm going to be going next. Uh, I'll have to make a good look at my list. But, you know, because, of course, I'd write them all down. Ah. Uh, so, yes, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. Yeah.